shalom and god bless you this is your pastor the reverend james coming your way again this is church on the street so if you did hear me pick up your notes pick up your bible and get ready for the word of god make me pray father we give you praise we thank you for a wonderful full year we ask that as we sit at your feet speak to us by your word instruct us by your word release light upon our lives in the name of the lord jesus we have prayed amen and amen amen now if you did watch this video two things either you did watch them later or you know come church today because right about now prophetic service is running live and i want to encourage you um as we the enter new year try as much as possible join any of the services join any of the services on sunday and i'll be glad to meet you in person i'll be glad to give you a handshake give you a hug and pray with you all right now we go a long way we talk about why salvation we talk about why jesus for die we talk about why we for pray today way it be today as the last sunday of the year and of the month i won't talk about thanksgiving first thessalonians chapter 5 the verse 18 i sure say you do remember verse 17 right verse 17 talks say pray without season verse 18 in everything give thanks for it is the will of god in christ jesus for you in everything in everything be grateful the word over there is for you carry steel all right now, what that word means simply is to be grateful show gratitude show gratitude all right now what does it mean to show gratitude it means number one be grateful in your heart number two watch your mouth reveal how grateful you are so i won't make you look into your life the fact that you dare life the fact that you're alive i want you to do an introspection think back and just thank god tonight for your life thank god tonight say you know day any other place but you day on your own perhaps you they watch from prison perhaps you they watch from some bad place of life but thank God that at least you have life, regardless of whatever you are going through. Your condition is not permanent. So just be thankful. The Bible said, in everything. So sometimes when they go through things where there is nothing to thank God about, you, you get it, there's nothing to thank God about. You just can't find something to thank God about. But as long as you have life there is something to thank god for and you see the bible talk say all things or everything they work together for a common goal and what be that common goal our good paul says that our afflictions are working for us a greater weight of glory that it means a sometimes when they go through one thing or the other which is unpleasant however the ultimate goal is for our good the ultimate goal is for our good it's just like <coughs> it's just like um 
you're nowhere you're sick right and you go to the hospital and um, let's say you got a cut right something cut you somewhere what they would do they say they would have to dress it sometimes they would have to stitch some parts together it may be painful but it is for the greater good it may be unbearable but it is for the greater good you want chop fufu you have to pound it it's not so pleasant but it is for a greater good so sometimes what we go through does not define the outcome right if we talk that together what i am going through does not define my outcome can we try that one more time what i am going through does not define my outcome what does that mean it means that my outcome may be very different from what i'm going through right now god says he knows the plans he has towards you they are plans of good and not of evil he don't get any bad intention anywhere that make her deceive this guy to punish him. No. God no come say they find some dubious way of punish him. He came to you so that you will have life and even have it more abundantly. The verse 19 of First Thessalonians chapter 5 says, Quench not the spirit. So one of the ways we quench the spirit, or one of the ways we they quench the life or the working of the Holy Spirit inside our bodies, inside our being, inside our heart, is when we are not thankful. In fact, it is carnal to think that something good is as a result of lack and not by the providence of God. What do I mean? If you did think say something somebody go through be lack, and your first reason no be God's goodness, God's blessing, the help of the Holy Spirit, then you are being carnal. And you know what the Bible talks about being carnal? The Bible talks say being carnally minded or having a carnal mind is equal to being an enemy of God. To be carnally minded is enmity against God. So what I want to you be say. In this time, in this season, as you count the last day of your calendar in 2023, I want you to thank God for life. Thank God for grace. Thank God for every good thing, every bad thing that has come your way. Just because you survived it, just because you are alive today, to count everything you have gone through, be grateful. Be grateful. I want you to take a minute. Just take a moment and say, Father, I thank you for my life. I thank you for family. I thank you for friends. Thank you for keeping me from harm. I thank you for everything I have been through. And I thank you that I'm hearing this word now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, your thanks, you see the thanksgiving you won't give God. It carries no weight. It makes no sense. It is not accepted if you don't know Jesus. And I want to take this opportunity and encourage Jesus to you. So if you have not given your life to Christ, or if you have not come to Jesus, if you are not born again, I want to make you take this confession with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I have heard your word. I believe you are the Son of God, that you were sent to this earth for my sake I believe that you died and on the third day you resurrected I believe your death your resurrection has procured for me a complete package of salvation and I believe in my heart that as I confess you as my Lord I partake of this blessing Receive me, accept me in the beloved. I proclaim you, Lord. I declare you, Lord, over my life. Amen. 
Father, I pray for everyone that has taken this confession. I ask that, Lord, you receive them in your bosom. And by the help of the Spirit, may they begin to experience a new life. May they begin to experience a new page, a new start, a fresh start. Grace be released to overcome every temptation of sin, to overcome every connection to death, even as they've been translated into life. I declare in the name of Jesus mighty deliverances upon the heads of your people. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen. God bless you, say you tune in and god bless you that you share or you're even going to share it even now don't ever watch alone gather somebody bring somebody along make somebody tap make somebody sit down and watch together all right as they become a blessing now once again i want to throw an invitation to you we are if you did ghana inside right if you did ghana Accra. You are welcome to our Sunday show encounter services on Sunday, 3 p.m. prompt up to 6.30 p.m. prompt. I encourage you to join us if you have need of anything at all, a Bible, assistance with the Word of God, put it in the comment section and we will reach right back to you. Shalom and peace to you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord turn his face towards you and grant you peace on every side. I declare 2024 to be a wonderful year for you. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Shalom and bye-bye.